We therefore abandoned Mr. Wilman's RV and went off to buy our own, which we then personalised to suit our individual holiday needs. This is what I've gone for. It's the Ford F550 National Tropical, and it's 36 feet long. Why so massive? I wanted to modify it in such a way that I brought a small taste of home with me. Can you guess what it is? Uh, Brown a, furniture. A tea nope. cozy. A rusty nope. motorcycle. No. Follow me. What? Holy moly! Whoa! Yes, welcome to the Rack and Pinion. What will it be? I'm in the pub. I'm staggered. It's got peanuts on the wall, terrible pictures. Oh, yes. This is fabulous. I know. Warm brown beer? Yep. Would you like a glass of Lady Petrol? Is that rosé? Lady yes. Petrol? I've equipped it with your favourite drink. What's that? That's uh, for you. Rummy's Ruin? It's gin. gin. Have you remembered to ensure there are sufficient urine traces in the peanuts? Yes, I urinated on them myself. Let's just ask, why have you got a drawing of three stroke victims on the wall? That's us. Uh, what? Dartboard. Yes, it's a pub. Well, darts is a fine game and helps England win a lot of wars. Darts is for people who have no conversation. Rubbish. Who wants to go to the pub and do maths? It's no good coming in here telling me what you want your pub to be I like. Don't want this my is pub. my pub. This is what it's like. This is a traditional pub. This is what they look like. This That's is great. It works. We're already talking pub bollocks. James, it's my job to ridicule you, obviously. But I can't, because apart from the dartboard, you've done an incredible job. Thank you. But it isn't quite as incredible as the job I've done. Well, I've gone, as you can see, for a nautical theme. In the desert? Yes, bear with me. Two-tone paintwork, obviously. Jet ski on the back. And then, up on the top, and this really is the piece de resistance, the flying bridge. What, so you can drive it from outside? Why would you not do that? Because you built it. I hate jet skis, by the way. Yeah, I know, but I just, just, you told me my hatred of darts is irrelevant. Your it hatred does you kept look mentioning nautical. It. it does look Shoes off. Even... Shoes off. What? Shoes off. Why? It's a boat. Oh, I hate that. I could afford £2 million on a boat, but not a new bit of carpet if you get some dust on it it's off a, your it's shoes. A, it's a bit surrey. Off. Oh, God. Right, good. Right, boots are off. Whoa! What? Is this all bathroom? Yes, obviously, with lavatory. What? Shower here, tiled, as you can see, tasteful. Sink unit, vanity mirror, restrained. And just pop this open, like so. Wow. Lower the flap, which means that in the morning, I can sit down and I can, I can see the pub. As we know, luxury is defined by light and space. Mm -hmm. So this is a luxurious bomb. Correct. And also, look, this is not some camping lavatory where you defecate on a piece of plastic. Observe. Oh, that's a proper thing. Ben, wh where, does, where does that go? Underneath the RV. What, to, like a tank or something? No, underneath the RV. Well, you're Same going effect. to drive off in your bathroom, yeah. leaving behind a mound of turds. Yes. Where are you going to sleep? Here. Yeah. This is the exact same width as my forearm. Oh, yes. Well, that's more of a cupboard, really, isn't it? The roof, however, was a different story. Whoa. Oh, I say. Well, this is wasted space normally, isn't it? Exactly. It's pretty good, this, Hammond. But hang on a minute. What? It's, it's, this is very impressive. It's very... Ah! Ha! 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 Oh, yes. Ha! <laughs> Whoa. Ah. Whoa. Right, so, this would be something to look forward to. Ah! Yeah, ah. don't let skin touch anything. Right, so assuming you were able to sit in the scaldingly hot seat... Yes. ...under the blazing sun... Yes. ..how does it work? Have you got brakes and accelerator and...? Accelerating. Braking. Right. Gears. Oh, drop. so it really is a boat. Yeah. Look, the way I see it is this, gentlemen. Almost no-one would want to go on holiday in a 36-foot caravan. But everybody would bite your arm off to go on holiday in a 36-foot gin palace. Yeah, you're right, they're not really that different, no, are they? No, it's just one floats on water and one goes on land. Right, Hammond. Yes. Where's yours? Over there. What, behind the lorry? No, it is the lorry, that's it. That's not an RV. 
Yeah, it is. Look, it's big. I can sleep on it, and it's got a bike on the back. That's a recreational vehicle right there. This we have got to see, mate. It's big, and it needs to move along, so a truck is the obvious answer. So what sort of a, truck is it? I don't know. Truck. These are the ones that used to be the U-Haul lorry. Oh! You've still got the sign of the previous owner on it. Doesn't matter. Come aboard, leave your shoes on, because this wood is very splintery. Um. Here's the living accommodation. What living accommodation? There's a bed. There, bed. Telescope in case I get bored in the evening. And then rocking chair in case of visitors, and a motorcycle on the back. So just two sex. Stacks. Yeah. Engine? It's got V8. Whose? Mine now. I bought the truck. You have made no effort whatsoever. Oh, no, now I have, but I've distilled it down. I haven't wasted time and effort on complicated stuff I don't need. This is honest. So when well, you come to my... I say, please, Jeremy, can I borrow your lavatory in the morning? I'm going to say, no, because you accuse me of wasting time. And if you want to come to my pub for a drink of your gym, which I've put on tap especially for you, I'll say, no, it's just a waste of time, Hannah. Oh, I didn't realise we were setting up a sort of stock exchange of resources needed by the roaming camp.